Hello friends, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a subscriber or a fan, welcome back. I don't have much to say before we get into the show, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Today's topic is the biology of belief. Keeley and Newberg proposed that religious experiences in the context of rituals or meditation is the result of an overload in structures of the brain responsible for emotions and homeostasis. This overload blocks perceptions and eventually leads to ASCs. The blocking of input to a very specific region of our brains induces a feeling of unity with the universe or a higher being. I have checked this definition of homeostasis. It is accurate, but it is also easy to understand. Homeostasis applies to any process that living organisms use to actively maintain stable conditions that are necessary for survival. Michael Persinger created the God Helmet. He claims that it is possible to induce a felt presence by stimulating certain brain activity. He argues that this can generate beliefs in supernatural beings and may explain how religion started. The God Helmet is thought to stimulate this activity. Michael Persinger claims that it is possible to induce a felt presence by stimulating certain brain activity. He argues that this can generate beliefs in supernatural beings and may explain how religions began. His theory is erected on the hypothesis that experiences of religious and spiritual nature relate to activity within the temporal lobes. This was brought to researchers' attention when it was found that temporal lobe epileptics often report religious experiences during and between seizures. Zari disagrees with the hypothesis that religious experience is a precognitive emotional phenomenon. She argues that religion is cultural and meaning and interpretation are central to these experiences. As such, meaning and interpretation are cognitive events. She analyzed imaging data of the same experiment from different angles and argues that religious experiences activate the prefrontal cortex, a major cognitive center, as opposed to the limbic system, which is the emotional center. Subjects who pray to God show an activation in the same parts of the brain that are activated in normal interpersonal interaction. This underscores the idea that people have a hard time keeping in mind the theologically correct idea of God. Does God exist? Technically, God exists in a religious person's mind and brain. He, she, it is encoded in our genes responsible for our mental functioning. Religious experiences are related to the temporal lobe. Religiousness, but not necessarily religion, is found in all cultures. Even in the Soviet Union, which tried to replace religiousness with secularism, failed. Anything that is universal to human culture must have had a survival advantage in order to be selected for. The amount of resources dedicated to behavior correlates to how important that behavior is to society. 
Humans tend to spend a lot of time and energy on religious endeavors. It is interesting to note that most of the grandiose structures and works of art that survive from cultures past are religious in nature. More than likely, the idea of spending a lot of time and energy to create artifacts for the gods and spirits evolved independently in many places, even in nomadic and hunter-gatherer cultures who don't make lasting structures they spend quite a lot of time worshiping gods and spirits and waste food or other valuable possessions as offerings. This leads to the question of how faith contributed to our survival. As an illustration, let's take a look at an aboriginal tribe living in the Australian desert. This tribe survives by seasonal wanderings, that is, going where food can be found. However, when anthropologists ask about this behavior, they claim to be following the will of the spirits. This illustrates how religion can nudge behavior in a sensible direction. Logical appeal does not seem as powerful as appeal to supernatural forces in these circumstances. Well, I think that's a good place to stop for today. Thank you for the well wishes. If you would like to leave a comment in the comment section, please do so. You can catch me on Twitter and Discord. Those links are in the description, as well as my PayPal account. You don't need to donate, but I wouldn't mind if you did. My source links are also in the description. Question everything and never be afraid. Here are a couple of videos from my library. If you have not seen them, go ahead and see them and tell me what you think. Until next time, friends, goodbye.